So first we just wash our hair with shampoo and conditioner and right now I'm using my hand dryer to just further dry the hair just to hasten the whole process of drying the hair so I'm doing so with a comb like a big comb and also my hand dryer so if you want to know or you want to see like the products I use equipment I use you can go ahead to check on the link in the description box below and watch a video on that where I talked about all the products and equipment I use I use affordable equipment and affordable product and guys i must tell you that i've really tried so many equipment that failed me like sometimes i get to buy like equipment and then it doesn't even last up to like a month or two but right now i figured out some things and i really want to share so i decided to share in a previous video the link will be in the description box below just in case you are interested so for this style, I'll be using Expression Bounce, Expression Bounce Kinky in two packs and also um, Ceres in just one pack. So Ceres is like the smaller pack of Expression Bounce Kinky. For the locks, we'll just start by doing the individual box braid and to do so, we'll be using this shine and jam just to get a neat part and also to help me pack or style or box braid the hair neatly. First, we'll just start by um, patting the hair into like a square pattern, just um, like a straight line first and then individually square, square, square like that. So before I start making the hair, I like to pack the hair into like a big or loose pony uh, just so that I can easily just uh, section the hair into different portions and so that you guys can see and so that I can like I like to organize my things when I'm doing anything I like I like it to be well organized so that's why I like to like pack the hair into a pony first before I start making or before I start styling or before I start sectioning so if you notice I'm only applying the shine and jam to the root of the hair this is so that it can catch up fly away hairs and also little hairs around the part and also give me like this neat part for box braid so I won't uh, be using any elastic band just so that I can less tension and here in Nigeria most of us or most clients do not like to use elastic band because of the tension it gives to the root of the hair so most people actually complain that elastic bands usually break their hairs For box braid we'll be box braiding from the root of our hair to the tip of our hair like so so we'll just go ahead to box braid all the hair in section in square pattern like so from the root to the tip of our hair so like i said before if you want to see the products and equipment i use for my freelance client you can go ahead to check the description box the link in the description box below and also if you're a beginner and you want to watch or learn how to box braid or even con roll you can just leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll film a detailed video or a detailed tutorial for you hi everyone welcome back again to the channel hope everybody is doing fine and great today thank you so much for tuning into today's video please if you are new here just go ahead to click on the subscribe button to join the family give this video a big thumbs up and do not forget to share this video to friends and family please guys just go ahead to click on share and share this video copy link and share to anybody to your friends relative people that you know that will very like will be very very interested in watching this type of video please just go ahead to share the video so this video is on how to achieve like a long distressed butterfly look very easy and quick So yeah, this is what the whole box braid looks like. After box braiding, this is what the hair looks like. I'm just showing you guys how I patterned the hair and how I was able to achieve this kind of um, box braid, like the the portions, the quantity, and also the size. And this is what it looks like. So for this, I made about 24 to 25 box braid. Um, I can't actually counted it just because of the extension i'm about to use so i really want the extension to be enough because we do not want to get or she doesn't want to get like an extra pack so i just wanted to be sure that 
the extension will be enough so that's why i decided to count it and while i was box braiding or while i was uh, sectioning it out i counted it just so that i can be sure that the extension will be enough for her hair so for this method i'm not going to be doing the crochet method i'm going to be doing the wrapping method and just to start the wrapping method i'm just going to take some amount of extension and just ha or add it up to her hair and then while adding it up i'm just going to make sure that one side is longer than the other side so the side that is not um as long as the other side that is long hope you guys get it i'm just going to attach it with her own natural hair and just start wrapping it like so then we'll take uh, the longer extension to start wrapping it onto her head like so we'll do about three to four tight wraps um to the roots so that it can secure so that the extension can be well secured first before i start doing the loose wrap and to get that a uh, butterfly distress kind of look i'm just going to be using my thumb to just wrap around my thumb loosely and then slightly pull my thumb away and then continue to wrap then put my thumb again and wrap about and wrap it around and then slightly remove it like that like that for this distressed hairstyle we really want it to be well defined like we want the butterfly distress or the distressed butterfly situation to be really really defined so that's why i'm really using my thumb so we're using my thumb in every um two to three wraps so we'll just continue wrapping loosely until i get to the very end of the extension and then go ahead to add more extension and by adding the extension we'll be adding it in such a way that one side will still be longer than the other side just the way i explained initially adding it same way one side longer than the other side and then taking the longer side to start wrapping around the shorter part so that's how i keep adding like adding more extension to the hair until i get to the length i want and then once i get to the length i want we'll just go ahead to tie a knot so for the back i just added um the extension about twice then for the middle added about three to four times of the extension and then for the front i added about four to five times of the extension this is so that all the length will be equal because the back side i just added like i said before i added two so we have we needed all the extensions to meet at the back equally hope you guys get it okay now we'll just go ahead to repeat the same process attaching the extension onto her hair and while attaching it making sure that one side is longer than the other side and then we'll just go ahead to take the longer part to start wrapping it onto the shorter part which i already attached with her natural hair then we wrap the hair tightly until one inch just to make sure that the hair is well secure onto her hair before we start doing the loose uh, wrapping and then for the loose wrapping we'll be using my thumb to create the distressed kind of look so we continue like so until i get to the very end of a particular extension and then we'll just go ahead to add more extension and while adding the extension we'll make sure that one side is longer than the other and the shorter side i'm going to attach it with the previous um extension that was shot before or the previous extension I attached with her natural hair and take the longer side to start wrapping around it and continue wrapping for a longer hair look so we just continue attaching the extension like so and when i get to the end of a particular extension we'll add more and while adding making sure that one side is longer than the other side and take the longer part and start wrapping around the shorter part like so that's how i'll continue until i get to the desired length or until i match it up with the first the previous length just to make sure that they correspond in length because we want all the lengths to be in all the lengths to be equal we do not want one side or one part longer than the other so we're just i'm just what i'm doing is just as i'm wrapping and also creating the distress locks i'm making sure or i'm measuring the length but if you are interested in the wig method or how i made this particular hairstyle into a wig you can check the description box below for a link right at this point i'm just going to allow you to just watch the video from the beginning to the end so that you don't get to miss any single step and also 
uh, I think it will be preferable for you to understand it better, for you to watch and understand it better. So yeah, I'm just going to allow you guys to just watch the whole video so that you get a better understanding of what I'm doing. done installing the extension i'm just spraying this oil sheen just to add a little shine to the hair and i also sprayed um styling most to the hair off camera just to secure the whole hair in place and yeah thank you so much for watching the video from the beginning to the end hope you were able to learn one or two things from this video please do not forget to share the video to friends and family give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't i also want to see your comments in the comment section below on the next hairstyle you want to see up next on this channel and also rate this video or rate this hairstyle from 1 to 10 tell me what you think and tell me what you would do differently and i'll talk to you guys in my next video stay blessed bye <laughs>